there are a lot of videos on YouTube about turkey pot pie and I've looked through them but I didn't see one about freezing for later and this video is about making a double batch of a chicken pot pie recipe and making it turkey pot pie and you can freeze it I'm using my old favorite cookbook and the recipe is the deep dish chicken pie and when it comes to pastry crusts you can get the ones you buy in the store you can make your own crust and the first item is onions and I'm using two I'm doubling the recipe just chop the onions you don't need to dice them or anything real small and you'll need to slice up fresh mushrooms and just slice them you can leave the stems on I am using two cups of mushrooms sliced mushrooms the next item is celery I leave the celery in the whole bunch and just rinse it and chop it down slice it down I'm and I'm using one and a half cups uh, sweet red pepper if you don't know how to cut up a red pepper it's really easy cut off the top and then cut off the bottom and then stand it on end and sliced right straight down and for these purposes I needed Joe's help open the where you cut and then cut the membrane slice through the membrane and roll that thing out until you've got it cut free clean out all the seeds throw away the trash and then just start cutting down the pepper until you have these strips get a bundle of strips together and then just chop them down and dice them up and it's really easy to cut a pepper and I'm gonna have one cup of peppers the two tablespoons of butter or margarine I'm gonna use four put it over in your pot and let it get heated up when the butter starts getting a little frothy then it's ready now then you in the recipe you put all of your vegetables in the pan so just dump it all in give it a stir mix it in with the melted butter stir it up pretty good and then leave it to simmer and you can see when the onions are translucent you're almost done when the butter and liquids are boiling you are done now you're going to add the flour stuff so I'm gonna make double so I need two-thirds cup of flour and uh, poultry seasoning I have a link to a homemade poultry seasoning and it's listed down in the uh, description box below a quarter teaspoon black pepper you'll need a half a teaspoon and a quarter teaspoon of salt you'll need a half a teaspoon if you're doubling Put it all in the measuring cup and then using the handle of the spoon stir the flour mixture until you have all the spices mixed and then you'll need um, I'm going to use three cups of chicken broth and two cups of milk doubling the recipe so you pour the milk over into the vegetables then pour your stock and then dump the seasoned flour in and give everything a stir you will find lumps but that's alright just stir it around and if you have big lumps you can mash them a little let it set let it come to a simmering boil stirring once in a while if you're using the store-bought pastry lay it out now it's time for the turkey that you have set aside you're gonna need to chop it up into like half inch pieces bite sized pieces and I'm gonna need four cups but I'm gonna make it about five stir the sauce check to see if it's boiling and when it does have little bubbles you're done dump in the turkey and I am using mixed vegetables I have four cups of mixed vegetables that I'm gonna put in Joe wanted to help so I let him and then I gave him the task of stirring all of that together and he had to put his love in it I'm using mini loaf pans 
and you can get them at any store. They come in a pack of five. The machining that they do sometimes leaves an oil on them, so stick them in the, give them a little wash, give them a dry, dry out any standing water, and stir your stuff until it comes to another simmer. Roll out your pie dough and then do a quick measure. If uh, the excess, cut it off, work the crust down into the little pan, and don't press real hard or you'll bust the crust, so just kind of be gentle putting it down in there. Using the back of a knife, cut off the excess pie crust that hangs out of the, the tin, and then there you have the inside. <clears throat> when the sauce is bubbling, that means the frozen vegetables are cooked, heated through. So about two cups. It won't be exactly two cups, but start pouring it over into your prepared pans. <clears throat> now with the lid that you cut off the other, lay it over the top and use a fork to mash it around all the sides and your ceiling, the inner and outer crusts together. Cut away any of the excess crust. And now it's ready to go in the freezer. Use a gallon Ziploc bags, put two of them in, one of them, however many. Get the air out and then put it in your freezer. Yay! Turkey later! We want to bake it in the oven, 400 degrees for 45 minutes and then dump it out on your plate and have a salad. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this. Subscribe if you have not already done so. I appreciate every one of you that takes the time to watch my videos. And I appreciate every one of you that subscribe. Thank you very much. Okay, now it's time for you to go show, show someone how special you are. What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, now it is time for you to go show someone how special they are. Bye!